in October, a new stage in the construction of the Salvage Engineering Center began. The builders have completed the pouring of concrete on the ground floor. In just the last two months, 15,000 square meters of the Design and Technological Bureau floor has been poured with concrete. This has opened up a new area of activity and allowed work on the engineering networks to begin. Inside the building, temporary heating has been connected on the ground floor. In the administrative and utility building, the builders started installing interior partition walls. On the second floor, the installation of the airlock has started. The temporary material storage area was gradually relocated inside the building, where the concrete floor had already gained strength, in order to lay the external utilities. The formation of the concrete foundations for the climate control systems started at the site next to the Design and Technological Bureau. To this end, a pile foundation of asbestos and concrete pipes was created. These were reinforced and poured with concrete, a formwork and waterproofing was carried out, and a reinforcement cage for the strip foundation was formed. A loading ramp was created on the outside of the building. The ramp walls were poured with concrete, the inside was backfilled with sand with layer-by-layer -layer compaction, and then the concrete cover of the ramp was formed on top. The Design and Technological Bureau of Savalmash is ready for the onset of cold weather, but there are still many unresolved tasks ahead. Construction has reached the stage where builders can work simultaneously on different jobs. The speed of work depends directly on the amount of incoming funds, and each investor in the project can speed up construction with his or her investment. The world's leading business magazine Forbes published an article about Savalmash. The publication gives a detailed description of the company, its purpose, operating capacities, development, and plans for the future. The company's work on import substitution is particularly highlighted. The article also gives an introduction to Slavyanka technology and pays special attention to the crowdfunding method of the project. The publication can be accessed via the link in the description to this video. In October, a series of solar group conferences has started in countries where national representations are already in place and where there is a particularly high level of investor interest in the project. The events are held in order to strengthen the funding of the project. A conference was held in Hanoi on the 9th of October, 16th of October in Ho Chi Minh City, 22nd of October in Indonesia's Surabaya. In total, about 400 people attended the events, the project's most active investors and partners, as well as newcomers who are interested in investing in Slavyanka technology and Savalmash. The audience was addressed by Solar Group top manager Sergei Simanov, Pavel Shatsky and Pavel Filipov, Andrei Lobov, Director of Production Cooperation Resource, Victor Aristov, Head of ASPP Weihai, Solar Group national partners in Vietnam and Indonesia. Participants of the conference personally talked to the company's management and other investors and partners, learned news about the progress of the Design and Technological Bureau construction and financing figures, got answers to their questions and saw the motors with combined winding Slavyanka. In November, conferences will take place in Bulgaria, India and North Macedonia, where the National Soul Group office will be established. Event details and registration for the events are available in the back office, section Events, Meetings, Upcoming. A meeting between Soul Group and Vietnamese partners and the management of a local electric motor manufacturing plant was organized as part of the conferences in Vietnam. The plant is one of only two Vietnamese manufacturers of electric motors for general industrial applications. The plant managers were very interested in the technology and expressed their desire to use it to improve their products. The Solar Group delegation also visited the newly opened Vietnamese office. The office was opened in Vinh Phuc City on the initiative of leading partners in Vietnam after they attended the Solar Group conference in Moscow in August 2022. This is the company's second office in Vietnam. The first one opened in Hanoi in spring 2020. It was also the first outside Russia. The partners in Vietnam plan to open more than 50 offices in their country in the future, as they see the effectiveness of their work. The conditions and interface of the gift for a friend option have been updated in the back office. Now, for each friend invited into the project, you will get $5 to your partner account. We give 100 investment shares to a friend. You can send 50 invitations per month with a gift and get up to $250 to your partner account. You can send more invitations but without any gift. The details of the gift for a friend option can be found in the promotion section of the back office.